everyone! Today I'm excited to show you a fun way to turn any image into a realistic watercolour painting in Photoshop. We'll be playing around with some built-in filters to set the foundation, and then we'll finish it off with a paper texture and some watercolour brush strokes. Ready? Let's dive in! First, open up your image in Photoshop. I'm using a pic of Scottish mountains I grabbed from FreePick. Now, the first thing you'll want to do is convert your layer into a smart object. This is super useful because it lets you apply filters without permanently changing anything, so you can easily tweak stuff later. Stick around until the end, and I'll show you how to swap out the image while keeping all the effects in place. All right, let's get started. Go to the filter gallery, find the artistic section, and select dry brush. Set the options to 10, 10, and one, then hit OK. Now we're going to add another filter, but don't just click filter gallery again, or it'll reapply the last effect. Instead, choose the regular filter gallery option, pick cut out and hit OK with the default settings, five, four, one. You might want to adjust these later, so just keep that in mind. Next, double click the little icon next to the top filter gallery effect in your layers panel. This brings up the blending options. Set the mode to pin light, so the abstract shapes blend nicely with the dry brush effect. Now go to Filter, choose Blur, then Smart Blur. Set the size to 5 pixels and the threshold to 100, with quality set to high. Now let's add a stylized effect with fined edges. This will outline your artwork, giving it that sketchy, hand-drawn vibe. Set it to Multiply Blending Mode to blend those lines into the image, and feel free to adjust the opacity to make them pop more or less. Time to add a paper texture to make it feel like an actual painting. You can grab a free one from the link in the description. Open it, copy it, then paste it onto a new layer over your image. Use Command plus T or Control plus T for Windows to transform it and fit it to your canvas. You can even apply a quick sharpen filter to bring out the texture. Then set the layer to Multiply in the Layers panel. For the finishing touch, download some free watercolour brushes link below. Add a layer mask to the smart object while holding Alt to fill the mask with black, which hides everything. Now, grab your brush, select a watercolour one, and in the brush options, turn on Shape Dynamics. Crank the angle jitter all the way up to randomise the strokes. Then, start painting back your image by stamping the brush from the centre outward. Play around with different brushes to keep it interesting and leave a bit of a border to create that soft faded look. And here's the magic of smart objects. Double-click the layer thumbnail to edit its contents, swap in a new image, save and close it. The watercolour effect will automatically apply to the new image. Super easy. If you found this helpful, don't forget to give it a like and feel free to subscribe if you want to see more.